Hello Bridge Deer here, back with another Sims 4 build challenge. This one, um, I haven't seen anyone else do. I think I made it up, but maybe I didn't. Maybe somebody else did it. But I decided to try to take the challenge where you each room is a different thing. And for this one, I did each room is a different decade. So what I did for this, since there's no generator for it, I took a 10-sided die and just um, had each number as a different decade, starting with the 1920s and going up from there. So I think 10 was 1920, um, 9 was 1930s, 1940s was 8, so on and so forth as you went up. Um, and then I did number 1 as modern i guess i just wanted to throw in a wild card originally my water wild card was going to be like the 1800s victorian type of thing but i decided modern is a lot more harder for me to do and yeah as you can see i already built the shell like i did last time i did one of these videos the era i got or decade i got for the outside is 1940s I ended up Googling what that would look like. Actually, I Googled every single one of these because I didn't quite know and I wanted to try to make it accurate. But we all know Google is not that accurate all the time, so this could be wrong. But when I did Google 1940s houses, I did see this little like white farmhouse looking one that I really wanted to do because it had a lot of windows and it was super boxy. So yeah. Oh yeah, this porch, just a heads up, I don't know if I kept it all in there. I think I did because this is a voiceover. I had to redo this porch like six times because The Sims is ridiculous and doesn't know what it wants to do. And yeah, it deleted my window. I just, I hate when it does that. This overhang took me so long to do and I kept deleting my windows. I only kept in that small part to show that it deleted, but yeah, it, ugh. This whole porch area was a disaster. I just couldn't get it done. It just kept doing all these wacky things and I just spent like an hour on it and I still wasn't happy, but that's okay. That's all right, whatever. It's just The Sims, no need to cry over it. But yeah, I did a little bit of landscaping off screen. I even remembered to put a trash can in this build because we watched my last video. I forgot to put a trash can outside. I also forgot a mailbox. So there they are and all their splendor. I also attempted to do a chimney and actually forgot to put any type of wallpapering over it or whatever you call it. So here we are in the kitchen finally. So in here we got 1960s as the decade and when I looked it up on Google, the one of the first pictures I saw of a 1960s era kitchen was this bright obnoxious yellow and wood um, ensemble. <laughs> So that's what I'm trying to do in this. The bottom cabinets are not exactly the ones that I don't match the most, but they were the only ones that that were um, a bright canary yellow like I wanted. At first, I wanted the toppers to actually match. And then when I looked at the picture, I realized they didn't, and I realized that I kind of wanted to go more with uh, a wood. But the cabinets, I meant I changed them like six or seven times. There's not a lot of toppers, and I don't like any of them, to be honest. But you get what you get, and you throw a fit um, almost every time you play and have to design a kitchen. But whatever, whatever. I, yeah, I completely changed up the assemble of the cabinets of, like, what goes where. Because, you know, I had to make it hard on myself. But yeah, but I actually put a fire alarm in this build because I normally just don't do it. But I guess in a um, update recently, and I say recently, maybe in the last like two months, um, they have added firefighters to it. So instead of your Sims freaking out for like 20 minutes of real life time about the fact that their oven's on fire, uh, they actually have firefighters to come in and help you like in all the other Sims games. So whatever. Also, there was a huge jump there because I had spent way too long trying to find that little tiny, like, pitcher there. So, yeah, we're going straight on to the dining room, which is a bit of chaos, I have to admit. The era I got for the dining room was 2000s, like, early 2000s. And, to be honest, what was 2000s? Like... <laughs> You can see me pausing here for a long time. I'm actually kind of like looking up what to do. I end up finding a uh, 
dining room from the early 2000s that had a lot of mismatched chairs and just kind of chaos. Nothing really matched, but nothing really didn't match at the same time. So I decided that was like the epitome of 2000, like in general, like just 2000. Just no, I'm just thinking of the fashion right now. I wish um, they would have brought over some of the aesthetic from the Sims classic. Like I remember um, there was one of those like bubble chairs like balloon chairs I I wanted one so bad as a kid and I never got one because my parents are like you're just gonna pop it and I'm like that's probably true but at least I'd have one for a little while uh yeah I also remember there was a chimney there so I'm like oh I have to put the fireplace in even though it's kind of a weird spot but this whole build's kind of weird because the inside of it took me like 20 years to do and I admit, I think this room was the hardest room to do in general just because of its sheer chaos and its weird angle for the doorway, essentially. Yeah, I have that little, like, cushion there because that was supposed to be my representation of a bubble chair that I never got to have. Also, this little cushion reminded me very much of the 2000s. Um, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with the floors and the walls. I decided that kind of washed out look was what I was going to go for. Um, the picture I had was like not great at showing the walls but you know i also changed the stereo on the cabinet not cabinet but like table to be a tv because i thought that was very appropriate but not a good tv just you know mm. anyway anyway enough about that tv we are going to the living room which ended up being chaos because it ended up being my wild card um modern so yeah i'm not very good at modern i feel like a lot of people that i've seen who do sim builds are like, yeah, I cannot do modern. Well, neither really can I. <laughs> My version of modern is like anything with chrome in it, I guess, and black, white, or gray. I understand that some moderns you know, can be other colors. I'm just really bad at uh, adding any color whatsoever into modern type builds. If anything, the builds I normally do are, like, just brown. Everything is brown. Always brown. And for some reason, now that I'm watching this, I realize I just don't really zoom in much while I'm putting furniture into uh, builds, which is why I think it's a little off-center. Like, over here with this coffee table and this chair. Like, none of that is center. What am I doing? Oh, my lord. Anyway, um... Yeah, I never get to use these chairs, and I decided, yes, they're going to show up in this build, but they make no sense. Like, that little, like, area over there with, like, the couch and the TV, I just... <laughs> Again, the inside of this took me so long, and I just... None of it makes sense. But I decided, you know, if you want to watch TV, you get to watch TV in this your little area all by yourself, you know? Uh, I got a little nice sitting area by the door that's all janked right now, because I'm trying to fix it. Um, yeah, and then you got a little coffee table with a lamp on it, and you got a closet because there's a closet there. Also, this carpet's great. It's one of my favorite ones, and I never get to use it because it's so big, and I understand that you can size these things down, but, like, I always forget to do that. Am I the only one who does that? Anyway, just skipping over to the bathroom because the walls and the floor in the modern area are just gray and white not much to see there and I added curtains and who wants to watch me put curtains into anything so anyway so in the bathroom area here I got 1960s again and instead of re-rolling I just went with it because when I looked up pictures of a 1960s bathroom oh my god like mm, mm, mm. the first like three or four pictures I saw were just pink nothing but pink bathrooms and I was super excited because so I am doing a pink bathroom. Um, that tub, I wish I could, I wish this was like Sims 3 with the color wheel so I can change because I didn't want that green to be there because it wasn't exactly the aesthetic I wanted. But like, that bathtub has a matching sink. So I wanted to use it, you know? You know, okay. So it was, I think I made this bathroom a little too small. I always make bathrooms too small because I don't care. And for this one, I really did care, and it just didn't work. I ended up putting this, like, really creepy painting behind the toilet, because I just felt like... I don't know, anytime you go into, like, an elderly person's bathroom, there's always, like, one creepy-looking painting and or drawing hanging up on the wall for no reason. 
I also wanted carpet in this bathroom, but when I kept looking at the photos on Google, it was mostly tile and there was a tile that kind of matched the floor. So here we go. We went with that. Oh, we're actually seeing me putting curtains because, you know, it's aesthetic apparently. Uh, I hate curtains. Oh, fix. there we go. Fix that curtain. Anyway, we're going up to the children's room now. And I think this room ended up being my favorites. It ended up being the 1950s. And the picture I modeled this after it was kind of, um, it was just a lot of bold colors with white. And pretty much actually this bed that came in here, it was almost exactly one of the beds I saw in one of the pictures. So I got really excited about it. Um, but I had a little trouble getting like a desk to really match and, uh, even though it was my favorite room, I think it was one of the hardest to do. Not really one of the hardest. It was like the second hardest because I mean, that dining room is kind of like, uh, I'm still, you know, let's not talk about it. It's there. Um, I also noticed there was a lot of clutter in some, like children's clutter in the photos I was seeing. So, hey, also this little orange carpet. I feel like I've never seen it before a day in my life, but um, that's probably extremely wrong. It has, I don't even see what pack it came from. I'm not. You know what? I'm not double checking. It's it's from something. Somebody can tell me in the comments where it's from. But yeah, I just don't ever use it and it's cute as hell, I have to admit. Um, I do actually really like all the little children's stuff that came with, I think, maybe it did come with a toddler pack. But anyway, that came with like the toddler-esque thing that came with it. Um, I did try to challenge myself a while back to do um, a bunch of builds with just the base game. And I realized they really put nothing for children in the base game. There's like, it feels like only like six things. And that's it. See, I'm wondering if he can actually, like, the child can actually get in their bed with that shelf there. Because I know The Sims 4 is supposed to have smarter Sims. Take that what you will. But they're actually probably one of the uh, least intelligent ones that I've ever played with in my life. So, eh, maybe I should have played test this, but I'm not... I'm putting it on the gallery right now, so it doesn't really matter. I'll play with it later and see if it works. Uh, yeah, no, not that door. This door. No, mm, I can't pick a door. Uh, yeah, the wallpaper in, in here. I knew exactly what I was looking for, and I never actually found it. So, you know, we just kind of went with what we got right there, which actually I really like that paper. And that nice floor. It's like my favorite flooring to do. Uh, I hate I hate the lighting in The Sims. Okay, let's just say that. I hate all the lights in The Sims except for like five because they're all too dim. So we got we got over that. Next room. Not going to bitch about lights anymore. We got modern for the master bedroom area. And um, I was not happy about this, but I went with it, you know. I also used this as an opportunity to use this really kind of ugly bed that is... <laughs> It's ugly, but it's not at the same time to me. Like, I like it, but then I don't like it. You know, you know how that is? It's, hmm. It's like that, um, uh, I think it's a line from Despicable Me, you know. Uh, I like it, oh, but not a lot. Not a lot. Oh my god. Mirrors. Why is that mirror so tall? I will never know. I never use, like, double wall lengths. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Anyway, I ended up making my own little mirror back behind the bed because I thought it looked cute and I was super um, uh, proud of myself for my creativity. But also, I don't understand why you would want a mirror behind your like headboard. Whatever. Now that I'm thinking about it, something that confused me as a child that relates to mirrors is when I would um, watch movies and I would see the mirrors on like the ceiling of these hotel rooms. Now remember, I was just a naive like 13 year old child and I just didn't understand why you would want a mirror there. Like I was just like, oh, you can't, you'd have to look up to see uh, yourself in that. Why would you want that? And then I watched, I think it was one of the Chucky movies and in it, um, I think he throws like a knife or something at the mirrors and they all break and they kill people and I'm like yeah that's why you don't put mirrors up there you silly and yeah I didn't catch on to why people would want that up there until like I was an adult so there's that 
I also put a chair in this room while I was talking and a light that I swear I also have never seen a day in my life. But you know, I don't actually look for things. Sometimes I just pick the first thing I see when I build because I just want to get it over with. Also, those end tables are really small and I don't know why. Like, I don't know, they look, oh, well, comparing it to the one next to it, it's not, like in the kids' room, it's not that small, but I don't know, it's weird. Oh, I've got a clock. Do I have two different end tables sitting there? It kind of looks like it from where I'm sitting. No, it's not. It's different. I put a picture in there, but it's not worth looking at because it's just another black and white, like, squiggly line type of thing that's like modern art. I'm no shame to modern art. I just don't care for it too much. You know, just me. More curtains. This is the same curtains. Those are my favorite curtains in the entire game because they actually seem to match everything. And here we are with some black, I believe, wood flooring. Mm, wish I could put that in my house for my little goth soul, but you know, not my house. Well, it's my house, but it's apartment, so not really mine, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, and I ended up looking for a carpet for this room, but that room in is just ugly. It's just ugly. And this one, I couldn't tell if it looked good or if that's where it should be or anything, but you know what? It's carpet. Who gives a crud? And it's a modern build, so it's supposed to look kind of ugly, kind of off-putting, I think. Is that how it works? Anyway, we're in the second bathroom. And moving this window aside because it's in my way. Um, for the bathroom, I got 1990s. And I wasn't really sure how to do that because when I was looking at 1990s bathrooms, I just saw a lot of white. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not not really sure but it's here that's what i did it's kind of just uh, it's black. it's a bathroom who cares about bathrooms a little side note though is that it took me way 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 too long to find that little top light there that's in the bathroom i just it's the best light in the entire game and i don't know why it's buried it should just be like the first light you can like click on because the only one that seems to work properly that and that little cloud um lamp for kids rooms anyway i decided to not want a laundry basket in this build because i don't actually have um the washer and dryer set up so what's the point of having a laundry basket i also have the double mirrors like i didn't i saw another person build those a while back and i was like oh my god i could do that too it's so weird yeah no, it's a master bathroom i I've actually never been in a house that has two sinks in the same bathroom, so for me it's super fancy and it, okay, yeah, that's kind of weird on my part. Also, doors. What am I doing? Why are there no doors? Why did I not put any doors anywhere? Like, door, come on me. Come on past me, put the door in. Oh, did I never put a door in there? Oh no. Well, okay, you can get in through the master bedroom, whatever whatever anyway we're gonna go to the entryway which was kind of like me being like i don't really care at this point i think let me double check because i have it written down since this is a voiceover if you can't tell already uh yeah the entryway was supposed to be 1930s and yeah i just kind of gave up at this point because how do you make an entryway look like it's from a time period I don't know, maybe it's just me copping out, but like originally I saw a lot of 1930s entryways with this like checkered tile, which I thought we would have more of actually in The Sims since it's so abundant in a lot of houses. No, no, it's only a few swatches. And there's tile that's checkered, like actual tile in the game, but it doesn't come in a black and a white swatches. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Also, the wallpapering, it was very, like, 1930s entryways that it looked at had a lot of, like, that molding to them. So I was trying to find a wallpaper that kind of went, mm, kind of like that. It kind of worked. I don't know. As I said, I kind of just checked out for the entryway quite a bit. Um, yeah, I just, what do you do with entryways? You just kind of walk into them and realize that somebody who was building forgot to put a bathroom door. You know, that, those kinds of things. I'm just not going to let that bathroom door thing go for a little while. Maybe I add it in the end, but I really, 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 really doubt it. Because there's always something I forget in builds. And I know in the bath, not the bathroom, the kitchen, I actually put a trash can. So, of course. Oh, no, there's the door. There it is. I actually did it. Oh, wow. I blinked and there it was. So, never mind. 
But it would seem like something I would do, like I was saying. I um, forget things a lot. Like, as I said in the last color build challenge I did, I forgot to put any trash cans in the entire place. I also forgot to put a mailbox in. There has been a few builds where I forgot to put bathrooms in for some reason. It's just... For somebody who has Crohn's disease, I forget bathrooms exist a lot in video games. <laughs> well, I guess, how many video games actually have bathrooms, to be honest? But, yes. I also remembered a stair, stair railing, because I also forget those. And, you know, I, I mean, Sims can't really fall to their death, but whatever. Also, what is this? Why did the wallpaper on the outside go like this? Like, it just missed giant chunks for no apparent reason, and I'm concerned about this. So anyway, mm, quit ranting about that. Oh, there's a couch here. Why is there a couch? I don't know how that got there. But anyway, here's the build itself. We got, you know, our nice like farmhouse look. Oh, there's a, there I go, fix the chimney. I did put some stuff in the backyard, but it wasn't really something that was error-like, so whatever. I didn't film that. Uh, so here we are with the bath. Um, not bathrooms. Those are bedrooms. Bridge. Those are bedrooms. There's the nice little bathroom. Nice and cozy. White blinding. Something that when you turn the light on at 2 a.m. You're going to, you know, blind yourself. Here's the pink bathroom. Very subtle pink. It's only subtle. Uh, here's the modern living room. Oh, that's a dining room, actually. Excuse me. That's the 2000s dining room. That's looks like your 12-year-old designed it. And, you know, the cutesy little yellow kitchen. So here we go. Close that house up and here we are. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay as healthy as you can, and bye.